I'm do this, I can do this because of I'm smart, because I'm strong, like God gonna make you always humble. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Man, oh man, you're just like SQ, the quality of this video is ridiculous. MashaAllah, we're doing some upgrades, alhamdulillah. Before we jump into this video about Conor McGregor and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is definitely definitely teaching him a lesson after that nasty injury you guys know that like even if you don't like the man you're just like cringe about it because you know we don't even want to wish the worst upon our enemies or anything like that whatsoever uh you just might be like sq where you been bro you just post every now and then you're not Listen, if you know anything about me, then you know I'm focused on building the school in Palestine. If you don't know about it, go check out this video, wherever it is. I don't even remember how to do it, right? Um, go check out that video. We are selling and we imported authentic Zemzem bottles uh, directly from Mecca, packaged from Mecca. And we brought them here to the United States and Canada. And all the sales for the Zemzem is going 100% to uh, building the school in Palestine. And inshallah, on August 1st, we're going to be uh, going to Palestine with the Zamzam boys to look for the land that we're going to build the school on inshallah if you would like to come with absolutely for free go to my Instagram and message me but you have to be in New York there's a reason you'll find out later okay so let's go let's go to this SQ what are you talking about As, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to teach Conor McGregor a lesson sure why not one of the lessons that we are immediately learning from this video right over here oh, I said I'm gonna take him out in a stretcher he's going out in a stretcher in this fight we have to be careful with the words that we use you see the words that we use and the words that we have is an amana from Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran that he indeed taught mankind how to speak and intelligence overall so when we use our speech remember that there is accountability for the speech because it's a miracle the ability to speak and communicate it's a miracle from Allah and we need to ask ourselves are we using our speech in the form of poison slandering backbiting gossiping to the degree where the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam taught us that when you are gossiping against someone else it's as if like you are burning your good deeds as you know fire burns wood what are we doing with our speeches or are we using the miraculous nature of our speech to promote goodness and positivity are we saying good things about someone are we saying good things about others and if we have nothing good to say we are remaining silent what is it that we're doing exactly because our words and our speech has power if you say something to a child it gets ingrained in their head now the choice is up to you can you say something positive so that they're always thinking about that positive word Yes, or you could say something negative to get in their head and lower their self-esteem. You see, what Conor McGregor is doing is he knows the power of speech. He understands how important speech can be. So what does he do? He says things to insult people, and that's never good. And you might be like, SQ, all the Conor McGregor fanboys or fangirls out there might be like, SQ, you know, Conor McGregor does so much for the community. I'm not denying that. This man probably comes from a very good home, raised by good parents, Allahumma Barik. Like, I'm not denying any of these things. He's probably doing some philanthropy as well, where he's giving to his community, giving back, so on and so forth. I'm, I'm not denying that whatsoever. But all of those things get overshadowed by his mouth. And we have to remember as Muslims that we are going to be accountable for this mouth to the degree where the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam promised us paradise if we were to protect what's between our cheeks between our teeth and something else tell me in the comment section below if you know what that other part of the body is that he told us that we should be uh protecting it's important that we don't say things to hurt and harm other people our speech is so powerful guys that the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us that a person who has been oppressed there is nothing between their du'as and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there's no barriers between their du'as and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so imagine conor mcgregor insulting people and this is not for muslimin this this is not for like a mu'min or a Muslim or something like that. This is for human beings. Like if you are oppressing someone, whether they're Muslim or not, the fact that you hurt them or harm them, their du'as and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no barrier between them. Imagine all the low blows that Conor McGregor is taking against Dustin, Khabib, or any of his opponents. You know, like some people think that that's juicing them up. You know, he might be thinking that that's firing him up. That's just getting him ready to fight. But the truth of the matter is that's actually coming back to harm him. Because when a person is genuinely genuinely oppressed the du'as go straight to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with no barriers whatsoever so what kind of du'a do you think Dustin made against him that he's going to destroy him that he's going to beat him 
perhaps. And here's a little life hack for you guys. If someone is oppressing you and you know that in your hand you have something so powerful, which is speech called a dua that can go directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with no barriers whatsoever, take advantage of the dua. Don't waste it by saying something about someone else. Don't waste that dua on harming the other person or saying, Allah, curse this person. No. Why do that? Why not utilize that dua for yourself? So if someone oppresses you, someone harms you, you know that powerful dua, your dua is as an oppressed person. Instead of cursing them and so on and so forth, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all those duas that you need, those duas that you're making in the Hajjah time. I know you are. Ask Allah for those du'as because that's the best time to make du'a. How does all the du'as happen? From our speech. And if we're not protecting our speech, then wallahi, it's, it's over. Our speech is so powerful that the Messenger وسلم, has taught us that when you make a du'a for someone, the angels make the same du'a for you. Which should eliminate any hatred, animosity, jealousy, envy that we have towards other people. Because if, if we see that someone has what we want, what we desire, instead of hating on it or wishing that they don't have it anymore, we do, why not make du'a for them? Why not ask Allah Azza wa Jal to, hey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please put barakah and blessings in this for them. And guess what the angels do in return for you? The angels are making the same du'a and for him, and for him, and for him. So Imagine the same thing works when we are cursing people, when we're making du'as against people, when we are saying nasty things against people. What if the angels are like, and for him, and for him, and for him? Wouldn't that be sad? Conor McGregor's talking about going on a stretcher, and this man ended up going on a stretcher. Why would we say things that put us in compromising positions? And I understand some of you might be athletes out there. Some of you might be doing something to fire yourself up. But that's not the way that we fire ourselves up. We have to have humility. And this doesn't mean that, you know, you can't have a larger than life personality. It just means that there's parameters for your personality to be within. Parameters and boundaries that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put that is beneficial for you and I so that we're not harming ourselves. So yes, it's okay to have a over-the-top personality. There's nothing wrong. I'd argue that I probably have one. But the point of the matter is making sure that you're not harming yourself or reverse unoing on yourself where all that personality is coming against you. And unfortunately, Conor McGregor has definitely reverse unoed against himself. And right when I thought that, you know, maybe Conor McGregor on this Twitter post would just take his humility and just, you know, congratulate the best fighter or whatever the case might be, or just focus more about himself and his own health and his own well-being. What's up, fight fans? The Notorious here, just out of the surgery room. Everything went to plan. Um, everything went perfect. I'm feeling tremendous. Dustin, you can celebrate that illegitimate win all you want, but you've done nothing in there. That second round would have shown all. Instead, he decides to slander another person. Using the speech and the power of his words, instead of uplifting himself, using it to uplift himself, he's slandering and bringing someone else down. But remember something, brothers and sisters, that when we slander other people, don't take it personal. If you're getting slandered by someone, don't take it personal. Ask you, how can I not? They're talking about me. Of course it's personal. It's not personal. In fact, it's how they feel about themselves. They're feeling so low about themselves themselves that the only way that they can feel better about themselves is by bringing you down so conor mcgregor is naturally coming out of surgery he's feeling really bad about himself so what does he do he's feeling low about himself gives off that poison onto dustin and says negative things about him that's not how a muslim needs to be if you find yourself talking really rudely to your parents ask yourself are you being rude to your parents or are you being rude to yourself what's happening what's going on in your life right now that's not right that's causing you to take out that pain and poison onto your parents onto your loved ones onto your family members because because that's a better question to ask. And if someone's being rude to you, instead of just immediately taking it personal and just being upset at them, ask yourself what's happening in their lives right now that's got them so angry and frustrated with themselves that the only thing that could come out of their mouths is some ill speech or hatred towards me or poison towards other people in their lives. Because the truth is that they're the ones who are sick and we need to help them out. So Jazakallah guys for watching this video. I know it's been a while. I haven't recorded one of these talking head videos in a while and uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm, get, I'm trying to get back to it, but there's so many things to do. I'm going to be in Dallas soon, inshallah, this weekend. Um, I'll put the date over here because I don't even know what day it is today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be in Dallas soon, inshallah. So if you're in Dallas, come check me. Uh, let's hang out or whatever. I'm going to meet up with Omar Suleiman, the legend, inshallah. And probably get you some videos from there as well, too. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the quality of this video and just the overall message of this video. And I hope that you guys benefited from this. It's been a while. I'm sorry that I have taken so long. I feel like that's another video about what's going on in my mind because I think there's a lot going on in my mind right now um, that I need to fix. But anyways, JazakAllah for watching. I appreciate you. And uh, may Allah SWT bless you. And until next time, I'm out. Go Suns, by the way.